We're now joined on the sports mix by the head coach of Musselman football, Brian Thomas. Wait's finally over. Playoffs are set. Coach Thomas, uh, I guess just your thoughts about the uh, long pause due to the court's uh, decision and your thoughts on the decision as well. Yeah, I mean, you're not excited to sit around and wait. You know, we weren't we weren't excited to sit here and have to wait for so many days that I really don't think any anybody was. Um, but at the same time, you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, you know, we we've been uh, honestly, ironically, it's very similar to to a COVID situation where, you know, we we went through like us coaches went through that as COVID. You know, this group of kids did it, but. You know, we, we've kind of been through how to handle, hey, we don't know if we're going to play. Hey, we don't know when we're going to play. So I kind of compared a little bit to the COVID situation just with the fact of not knowing what's going to happen. So, you know, you got to keep your kids ready. you got to do some different things and, and, and uh, you know, just stay ready not knowing when that's going to be. So, uh, yeah, we're excited. I, th- I think everybody probably in the state's excited. Coach, what's it been like uh, not knowing who you're going to play and then finding out, uh, late last night, so only a few days to prepare before uh, this weekend. Well, I mean, the, the I mean, you, you're definitely crammed on time a little bit. I mean, there's no, there's no doubt in that. You know, you're sitting there and, uh, you know, you got a couple, couple days to prepare. You got to crunch some numbers and do some things and, and get ready. But I mean, as coaches, we're, you know, we're we're used to kind of going on the fly. So it is what it is. You know, the good news for us is somebody we already played this year. So, uh, you know, when we're when we're looking at film, you know, we have the best film that there is. We have us against them. So, you know, they have the same, they have the same thing. So it's not like, not like I'm saying we're at a huge advantage, but I'm, I'm saying compared to other teams, you know, we don't have to play somebody that we've never seen or we've never prepped for. Uh, it's a team that, you know, we, you can see how your kids match up to their kids on the film. You can see how they lined up to the different things that you did. You can see what worked and what didn't work. You know, you can kind of talk about that a little bit. So, you know, we're, I don't think we're really at it a, an advantage compared to Wheeling Park, but, you know, maybe we're at an advantage compared to different teams in the state. We kind of just touched on that same situation when we just talked with Matt Faircloth of Hedgesville since they're getting ready to take on Spring Mills, who they just played a few weeks ago. And I'll ask you the same question since you have already played Wheeling Park this year. Is there a level of difficulty of making sure you don't maybe over adjust the game plan though knowing how things went last time yeah i think it depends on your team you know um funny thing is guess what happened two years ago when we went to the playoffs we played wheeling park and guess who we just played in the regular season we played wheeling park so you know it's it's an it's an ironic situation for us where you know, not only are we in the same situation that we were in not many years ago, but we're actually against the exact the same opponent, even though both teams are a lot different now than you were two years ago. Uh, I think it just depends on your team. You know, some teams can handle um, taking different stuff and doing different things, and some teams, um, you know, you don't make those adjust- as many adjustments with. So, you know, we're, we're able to sit there and, and – kind of look at the game and figure out what's going to work for best for our kids and what didn't work well last time. And, and even when you watch film, you know, maybe there's some stuff you see last time that you're like, Hey, that worked. We just did not execute this. So, you know, what, what can you do better? You know, what can you fix? What do you completely change? Two years ago, when we played in the playoffs. We changed a lot of stuff on both sides of the ball. We, we almost completely revamped the game plan. So, you know, we've, well, I think it's all about teaching. It's about teaching your kids and getting your kids to understand what you want them to do. So if your kids can handle that and you can convey that message across to them, then, you know, you can you can change a lot of things um, if need be. And, Coach, I mean, the same thing probably can be said about Wheeling Park, but it's clear that your team's gotten a lot better since week three as well. So just – how does that, I guess, kind of factor in in terms of maybe you feel more confident in running certain things that maybe you weren't confident in running at the beginning of the season? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, be, just because you know when you when you go throughout a season, you're going, 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 and like, what are we going to do today? What are we going to do then? What are we gonna, and it just kind of it goes and it just flies, and sometimes you're really busy. And you don't have a chance to go back and look at those past games. Usually, that's an off-season thing. So when 
you know, we saw that we were going to play them. That was the first thing I did as I went back and watched the last game. I said, man, I don't, I don't remember every little detail about this game. That was week three. That was almost, you know, seems like, seems like yesterday, but it also seems like an eternity ago. So we're, I went back and watched that game. And the first thing I thought is I was like, man, we're completely different than we were. We're, we're very similar in some things, but we're also, we also do some things different now. And we've kind of developed and grown a lot since then. I think the second half of the season, we really played some good football and we've gotten a lot better. Um, you know, even though, even though we haven't won, uh, you know, a lot of those games, we, we've gotten better and we've been competitive in games and, and, you know, you can see our growth. So, yeah, we're, we're completely different than we were week three. To follow up on that, what have you seen that's maybe different about Wheeling Park since then? Yeah, they do some things different as well. Uh, similar, they're probably more similar than they are different. Uh, they've had a pretty successful season. So, you know, when you're having success, you don't really have to change a lot. But they, um, Coach Doc does a really good job. He knows how to get his players in the best position uh, and get his playmakers the ball. So he's done that a little bit more. They, they've kind of figured out ways to get, move some kids around, get different mismatches. Uh, defensively, they're really well coached and they get after it. So, you know, they, they've grown a lot throughout the season as well and they do a couple little things different but uh they're really good at what they do you know sometimes i think we we live in a as coaches or really we live in the world that hey man i want to do i want to do a hundred different things and if you do a hundred different things you're probably just going to be average at a hundred different things and if you uh, if you focus on 10 things and try to be a master of those 10 things you could do them really well so you know they they don't i tell you they don't give you a lot uh you know, they're not super overcomplicated, but they're really, really good at what they do. And when you play teams like that, you can sit there and come up with a bunch of different plans. But if their kids are great at what they do, then they're ready for to troubleshoot all those problems. So, you know, some to me, those are the most dangerous teams to coach against, the teams that you know what's coming. And they say, hey, you know, line up and stop it. And, and they're just excellent at what they do. One of those things, uh, at least the last time you guys went up against Wheeling Park in week three was uh, the running attack for Wheeling Park. Uh, Brennan Wack broke the single-game rushing yard record in uh, Park history with 299 rushing yards in that game on 21 carries. What does your team need to do to uh, neutralize or contain him as best as possible this time around? Man, you really, you really kind of put me down with that statement. That was like Sorry. really like, hey, this kid ran for all these yards, and yeah, that was that was devastating to think about that again. I think the kid ran for so many yards that night that he probably just ran beside the bus on the way home, um, yeah, as as much as he ran. So I don't know, man. He they yeah they exploded. Uh, they you know they their run game went off that night. So. We didn't do a very good job stopping it. Um, you know, if that happens again Friday night, then we're not going to win. You know, if he rushes for, if he rushes for 200 and or 300 yards again, then they're going to win the game. I can say that with confidence. You can't give up that many rushing yards to one player and expect to win. So, yeah, we we have to slow the running attack down. You know, we're not going to, you're not going to stop a team that that's that, that is that good at running the football. You're not going to stop a player as good as him but you know at the same time you got to be able to slow it down and you got to be able to to you know he, he's going to have some good runs he's going to have some good plays but you know it can't be for the tune of 300 yards just um wide open holes every time they touch it so you know we gotta we gotta commit to the run and we gotta do well in the run or you know we're not going to win the game coach obviously you mentioned the familiarity between these two programs um you guys are going back there they traveled to you guys earlier in the season just what are some of the fun things about the matchup and also you know playing at wheeling obviously it was a state championship site for a lot of years so it's a pretty cool stadium yeah um really really good environment really cool stadium you know i i I love coaching there going there it's it's pretty neat uh like you mentioned you, you know kind of the the us programs playing each other somebody asked me the other day they said man you guys have played them a lot and i got to thinking i was like man outside of the epac i'd probably say we've played wheeling park maybe the most in my years as head coach outside of the epac i mean we've played them in the regular season uh we matched up up with them in the playoffs a couple years ago again now so you know it's it's you know you're like you said familiar with the program uh, familiar with what they do I, I think when we've had a lot of really good classic games with them 
over the years. And, you know, I think when you play a team like that, and it's just good football games that I think you develop a level of respect. You know, I, I would think that um, I got a lot of respect for Coach Doc and what he does. He does a really good job. You know, he's probably one of my better better coaching friends throughout the state. And, and you know, I think he'd probably say the same about me. So, uh, it's, it's yeah, it's a really good little, I guess you would call it a rivalry, even though I guess it's not really a – uh, dislike rivalry. It's more so just a competitive rivalry. Uh, but yeah, they've they've had they've they're a good program, and and we played a lot of really big games against them over the years. So you know, excited to to be able to play there again. All right, Coach Thomas. I think that's all we got for uh, football side of things. So we'll get to the fun question before we let you go. Sound good? Yes, sir. All right, fun question. Are you more of a uh, Book or movie guy? That's easy. This is this is the biggest no brainer, easiest question you've given me all year. Movie, movie, movie. Okay. I do not read. I do not read books. I just can't. I can't sit down that long. I can't focus that long. I'm just not a big book guy. I'll sit there and start reading books, and I'll start thinking about something else. And I also like movies. You know, my wife sometimes will want to watch shows or something like that, and then you got to sit there and you got to commit to them, and you go, oh, now there's another season. I like movies because we can sit there, start it, finish it, and it's over with. So, yeah, definitely I'm a movie guy. Well, our following question, we are going to make it a two-part one, was uh, since you picked movie, what's the last movie that you saw? But if you're saying that it's been a while since you've even touched a book, do you know the last book you touched? Um, oh, I'm giving man. you both. I know you. You brought man. this upon yourself, though. I'm saying um, for the record, uh, you get so busy with football season that you just don't. Oh man, I don't know. I honestly, I don't know. I can I couldn't tell you. All right, just stick to um, movie then. What's the last, last movie, movie you watched? No, probably, not the even. The last movie I probably watched was probably something Adam Sandler. Probably, you know, my kids are my kids are at the age where they kind of like that. You know, watching some of that humor now. So probably something Adam Sandler. Um, I don't know. I feel like not long ago we watched Talladega Nights. So I, I'm I'm all, I'm a Ricky Bobby fan. Book. Uh, I did read a book this summer. Um, I forget what it was called now. Um, it, it was it was a sport it was a sports book, and it was just talking about it was it was like a leadership book, um, a sports leadership book. I forget what that was even called, off the top of my head. He put me on the spot with that question. All right, thank you, Coach. Yeah, thanks, guys. Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Best of luck Friday. Yeah, thank you. Hi. Thank you. Hi.